Hello, this is Wes Crow, and I guess I am still going to start the 2017 uh, YouTube Pagan Challenge. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to. Uh, I've been kind of going through a why am I doing this with the YouTube. Um, I still have ideas that I like to do, and I still am enjoying it. It's just I'm wondering why I'm putting my face out there. Because I don't really need to be doing it. I could find some other way, like photos or something else to focus on while I talk or share something or whatever. And it's not because I want to hide my face, it's because I kind of feel like, well for one thing, putting on makeup and everything getting ready for it is kind of a hassle. Um, but secondly, I, I just sort of feel like, like, am I being sort of full of myself? I sort of feel, because I've never been one for photos, I've never liked photos, I've never liked being on video, I've just... So it's sort of kind of feeling me. I'm not sure what I want to do with this. And also the other reason I wasn't sure that I was going to do this is uh, last year I tried to do the YouTube Pagan Challenge, like everything individually. I tried to ca catch up to the weekly thing. I don't know if I was ever co totally on time, um, but I kept all the videos separate and keeping them all like to the subject. Uh, I think there was only one time that I doubled up on a video. And that's a lot of work. And I, in the summertime, I was starting to burn out pretty good with it. I just didn't, I, I fell behind about a month or so and I just did not want to, I didn't want to be doing it anymore. I could seriously consider stopping doing the YouTube Pagan Challenge at that point or just doing videos, stopping doing videos altogether at that point because I was so burnt out. Uh, but then I, I, I figured, no, no, I'm going to finish this. And, and so now I finished it. I finished the two, 2016 uh, YouTube Pagan Challenge and that's under my belt. And I finished it and I achieved what I set out to achieve. So I wasn't sure that I was going to do this year's. And then I heard that this year's was going to be mostly about uh, Book of Shadows, Grimoire type of stuff. So I was like, okay, well, I don't have a Grimoire or Book of Shadows, so no point in me doing that. But then I saw a list and it, like the first month here is mostly all Grimoire, Book of Shadow type stuff. And then as you get closer to summer, there's some really interesting uh, questions coming up that I would kind of like to like think about and do videos on. So I guess I'm going to be doing the this year's YouTube Pagan Challenge. I'm just not going to be as uh, strict. I might do it like maybe one video a month or there's some videos here though that like definitely require their own uh, videos. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out. For this month, I. I purposely took time to think about it because I knew that I would be combining the first four questions uh, all together into one video um, because they're all about uh, grimoires and books of shadows and journals and stuff. And I have already touched on, already answered questions on this uh, in the last year's one and not too much has changed. And then in February, uh, questions five, six, seven, and eight, there's a lot about uh, tools there so I'll probably be combining a lot of those. But in March, there's some that look like they should be maybe individual, and then as you, yeah. So I don't know how it's gonna go. It's probably not gonna be as uh, as individual and piece by piece as I did last year. And I will be referencing. I went through and referenced a lot of the stuff that I may have talked about in other videos. Um, and uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that the question, the all the questions are repeated in the ones that I meant. But I tend to ramble in some of my videos, so I do touch on some things that have already that are asked here. So I'll try to I'll try to mention those as I go. Uh, so anyways, January, the, the questions are number one, week one, show and tell your grimoires, notebooks, journals, etc. What type of book do you prefer? Well, I don't really have a grimoire, or I don't have a grimoire at all. Uh, I don't really have books of shadows. I used to, I have had them in the past. Um, I do have journals, I have tarot journals and oracle journals. And for those, I just use uh, notebooks from the from the dollar store. Uh, I have had um, a divination book of shadows that I found from like over ten years ago that I now have back. Um, I don't really use it. I didn't really use it ten years ago either. But it's here. It's around. I just yeah. So, anyways, if you want to see any more of what I with journals or that that book. That uh, the divination thing I have that I think I mentioned that in uh, my second basement haul. Um, other weeks of the YouTube Pagan Challenge where we talked about books, uh, we talked about grimoires and book of shadows and things of that nature uh, were week 9 uh, and 21. Question number 2 is how do you protect and concentrate your book? Uh, well, 
my journals I just put in a in a drawer somewhere that's about as much protection as I put on them I don't really do much more than that um, number three is how do you organize your book uh, table of contents bookmarks etc uh, I don't really organize it with my uh, journals I put the name of the card up in the corner so they're easy to find that way um, other than that it's usually a daily draw type of thing so they're all out of order when I do them and number four is how to start your book getting over perfectionism and creating techniques um, well I've had them in the past and when I started like I started like everybody else when they start uh, Wicca or witchcraft uh, when I was first starting out years and years ago and I started with the correspondences and the Wiccan read and all that um, your standards your standard stuff and then it uh, I started to want to change things around and it wasn't a it was a hardcover book it wasn't a one where I can change them around easily and then I stopped because I didn't want to fuck it up and then I didn't write in it so uh, actually no I sort of I don't really have a book of shadows I don't know what to call this book I started a three ring binder for um, there's there's articles online that over the years I, I, I go back to like there's one on the ego there's one on um, other spiritual aspects and they're just long articles that I go back to periodically and every almost once a year I reference these uh, articles maybe even more than once a year just to refresh them and then sometimes I forget where, where the website is this, like if I change uh, to a new computer or something along those lines usually they're pretty easy to find anyways but I figured you know what I'm gonna print them out so I started printing out these things that um, just resonated with me that I've gone back to over and over again and I put them in a three ring binder they're articles on spirituality, they're, there's no spells in there, there's some po there's some pagan poetry in there, um, just things that resonate with me. I haven't done any journaling in it. <laughs> I have put, I, I, right now it's at a point where if I left it out on my dining room table and people were over, I wouldn't care. Because it, it's not that personal even though it's personal and it's not personal. There's things in there that have helped me through some really bad times in my life, but I didn't write any of this. It's all like sort of self-help type of stuff. Um, I have thought about putting some of my own, because I have papers all over the place uh, from years and years ago to every few years I feel like I'm doing a personal, um, like taking personal stock of myself, of personality traits, uh, what I want out of life, things of that nature. Um, done in different ways, whatever I'm working on at that moment. Uh, and so anyways, I've been thinking about putting those in the back of it, but then I wouldn't feel okay with leaving it out if anybody needed it. Like, it, right, right now, like, some of these articles that I printed out and I put in this book, quite often when my friends are going through issues, um, whatnot, I'll direct them to those websites because I think they're valuable. So if somebody was over at my house and like, hey, read this, I, I would feel kind of weird with that stuff in the back of it. But then again, how often is somebody going to be over at my house and I'm going to be like, hey, read this? It's probably better just to keep it all together. Uh, so it's not really a book of shadows, I don't know what you would call it. It's not really a book of mirrors because I don't journal in it. Um, there's no there's no spells in it, but it is sort of spiritual. Um, so I don't know. And I have listed here uh, for num question number four about uh, getting over perfect. Oh, in week 50 I talked about getting over perfectionism a little bit. I touched on it anyways. So if you want to hear more about that, there's, there's that. Um, so yeah, I guess that's this month's one I'll do. And I think next month I'll probably do either one for the whole month or maybe two for the month, something like that. I don't know. I'm not going to be overly strict with myself on this uh, this year. So, so yeah. Bye.